All right, we're going to go over a brief overview of what this video is going to be about. All right, we're going to be taking uh, panoramic images, which are already stitched from 360 cameras. So you can use any of these cameras or any other cameras that result in a panoramic image. Um, and we're going to remove the tripod and the shadows and or your hand, depending on the situation, using Photoshop and Flexify 2. Let's go ahead and uh, open up Photoshop and get into it. All right, here we are in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and open up a, uh, a Rico Theta shot. So I've used uh, quite a lot of uh, different 360 camera, different cameras. Uh, we're just going to use a uh, Rico Theta. Here's a uh, panorama image that I used. So let's go ahead and uh, duplicate the layer. So we're going to change the view. Uh, and using Flexify 2, we're going to go ahead and flip the view or apply the filter equilangular, equirectangular to the zenith and the nadir. We're going to adjust this, uh, this value so that way we can actually correctly see our tripod. And let's go ahead and apply this. Now we can easily see and make some changes to this layer. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, stamp tool. And because there is an actual pattern on the ground, it makes this a whole lot easier for us. So let's go ahead and slowly but surely replicate this pattern and get rid of this tripod. This is a pretty simple example because we actually have a pattern on the ground, so it hides it really well. And that's about it. Looks pretty good. No more tripod. All right, let's go back to the, uh, the Flex Flexify 2. We're going to apply the filter again. We're just going to switch it around so that way it's uh, back to normal. So we're going to zenith to equal rectangular. And then we are going to merge the two visible layouts on the right side. Looks pretty clean. Let's go ahead and merge these. And we're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and file and uh, save, save as. Save this file location that I'm going to be able to easily find so that way I know it's a, a clean, clean panorama. It doesn't have a tripod, hand, or any shadows. Let's put this here in the Theta S folder. All right, we're going to save this and we're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, to see what the differences look like, let's upload this to Facebook so we can look at the uh, different views. So here is a panoramic view and a 360 view. Uh, so that's the before and then this is the after. So overall, it looks pretty good. And it's that easy.